What's up you guys? Welcome back to my money's channel. So today I have a special guest. I have my mom. My mom say hi. Oh, hi. My mom is teaching us how to make birria today. So I don't know how to make it. So I'm going to learn with you guys. Um, also, I have my nephew Gordo helping me out today. So it's kind of like the three of us all doing work. Tres cocineros. So this is the first time that mom comes out on a video with me. So she's going to teach all of us how to make birria. So stay tuned. Hey, you are going to need chile, guajillo, entero. You're going to need clavo, cloves. Laurel. You're going to need um, laurel leaves. I'm going to put it in the description box just so that you guys know what it looks like. But they usually come Amelia. in these like little bags. Um, and it'll say laurel. You're going to need oregano. Y um, es mejor en esta bolsita? Es que? Es mejor usar la bolsita o los no, que? No, de la que tengan. A mí me gusta de entera, pero como no quiero moler, ahí le voy a poner de la que ya está molida. You're going to need black pepper. My mom said that you could use the one in, in the container, um, but this is, I don't know, this is the one she got. Um, y vamos a necesitar, a ver, Chile California. El guajillo es bueno el sabor, pero es muy enchiloso. Ok. Así es que yo no recomiendo mucho chile guajillo. And you're also going to need um, chile California. Now I know about you guys learning from your mom. This is me learning from my mom how to make this. I'm usually a little more organized, but since we're learning from my mom today, um, I'm going to try to make this as easy as possible for everybody because okay. I feel you guys on the learning from your mom part. This is how Mexican moms cook. And you're just like, I don't know what the fuck. I don't know how much I need of what. And she's moving so fucking fast for me. Like, it's hard to keep up. Okay, so, vamos a necesitar ajo. We're going to need garlic. You're going to need tomatoes. You're going to need cilantro. I am using two. The helper got here. And pal palomilla. Palomilla. Pueden usar diezmillo o palomilla en trozo. Okay. Um, so this is palomilla for the English speakers. It's top sirloin. Dijiste que también pueden usar diez mil. Diez mil. Yo traje diez mil. Pueden usar. Estos diez mil. No, eh, palomilla. Pero pueden usar también diez mil. ¿Cómo se dice diez mil en inglés? I don't know. You guys can also use diez mil. Um, you can also use diez mil. I'm not sure how you say it in English, um, but for the Spanish speakers, for the Spanish speakers, that's what you could use. But this is what my mom got. Um, y también agarraste huesos, dijiste? Uh, dos chamorros grandes para que le dé sabor el hueso. <clears throat> and you guys, I do recommend um, that you get your meat from the carniceria, from the meat market. Um, so my mom got beef shank. In Spanish, it's chamorro de res. Dijiste que esto es como huesos, ¿verdad? Sí, es chamorro. Tiene carne, pero hueso también. Eso es para que le dé sabor el hueso. So, um, this is me, but with like um, the bone in. So, basically, the bone is going to give the birria more flavor. So, right now, my mom is cleaning the chile California. Mm -hmm. Y guajillo. And the guajillo. ¿Cuántos chiles California vas a usar? Como diez. Y ocho, uh, ¿cómo se llama? Ya se me olvidó. Um, Guajillos. Este es bravo. Ok, so um, to my English speakers, my mom is using 10 chile California and then 8 chiles guajillo. Porque es enchiloso. Um, so the reason why she's using a little less of uh, the chile guajillo is because it's a little more spicy. Um, so if you want it a little more spicy, you could add more chile guajillo. The chile California is not as... Um, Cuatro de chiles pasilla secos. So, ¿estás poniendo chile pasilla también? Sí. 
Seco. Okay, so then also you're gonna need four chiles pasillas. They're also dry. ¿Dónde están hijo los pasillas? Oh my god, you guys, I'm trying to simplify this. Oh shit, I got a little fucking thing coming up over here. You guys, I'm trying to simplify this as much as I can because she's moving pretty fucking fast. But just try to keep up with me, you guys. Oh, you guys also um, get limes. You're also gonna need limes. And you're also gonna need um, cinnamon sticks. Uh, my mom's gonna use one. I'm sorry if it's a little blurry. Pero uh, un cinnamon stick, ¿verdad? Un teste de canela. I usually do this in the sink just so that it's easier to clean, but my mom obviously doesn't give a fuck and she's just gonna do it anywhere, so. But this is how she cleans her um, her chiles. She opens them up and then we're gonna rinse them. Oh, you guys, and I got my little um, helper, Gordo, helping me again. Um, so right now what he's doing is he's, um, I don't know roasting. if it's roasting or grilling, but we're um, roasting the chiles. Make sure you do this on low fire and you only want to do it for about two to three minutes. Uh, don't go over two to three minutes because then they're going to come out bitter. Let's see how they're already cooking. Okay. Vienen los ajos. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce. Casi una cabeza de ajos asados. We cook fast. So my mom is using, um, she said she, it's, it's about a whole head of garlic. Uh, pero dices que son ocho? Como una cabeza de ajos, pa que no se equivoquen. So, okay, so van a usar toda la cabeza? No uh -huh. como. Si. Sí. So you're gonna use, um, damn near the whole head of garlic. Um, I believe she said there's about eight cloves in here. So you're also gonna roast them. Oh my god, you guys, she's don't play. She's fucking moving pretty fucking fast. So I'm over here trying to catch up with you guys. Also, you guys, you're gonna use three tomatoes. Y unos tres o cuatro tomatillos. You're also gonna need four uh, tomatillos, okay? You're also going to grill a whole head of onion. <laughs> Once you're done grilling your chiles, you're gonna put them in a bowl with hot water uh, to soak for about eight to 10 minutes. ¿También vas a poner los el ajo? Sí, porque todo va molino. You're also gonna put your garlic in there to soak. Which is right I also wanted to mention to you guys that the garlic, um, you're going to grill it with the skin, but once it's done grilling, you're going to take the skin off. No, no, camino. Yo le echo más o menos como... ¿Qué es eso? Comino. Más o menos como una media cucharadita. Okay, so, um, comino. half a teaspoon, dijiste? Una media cucharadita. Mm. Teaspoon or tablespoon? Teaspoon. Un pinch de orégano. Okay, espérate. So you're gonna put about half a table, half a teaspoon of cumin. ¿Y cuánto orégano? Dos así. Pinches. Two pinches. pinches. Two pinches of orégano. Yeah. ¿Dónde está el vinagre? Oh, aquí. Ma, ¿y vas a poner el agua también en en el uh, en la licuadora? You guys, so basically my mom's gonna put all of this to blend, including the water, um, in the blender. Alright guys, so the next ingredient is the, um, vinegar. Um, we didn't have, we didn't go buy it in the store, like out of a We didn't buy it out of the store in a container, so she just bought it at the carniceria and they put it in that little bag, if you guys are wondering. But it's white vinegar, so she's about to use... Como equivalente. 
a tres cucharadas de esta sopera. So about three tablespoons or whatever that. Soperas. O lo que sea eso, no sé cómo se. Tráete la sal. So about three uh, tablespoons of vinegar. ¿Cuánta? Wait, wait, wait. ¿Cuánta sal? Uh, ¿De esa sal le vas a poner? Ahorita vamos con okay, la sal. Okay, eso Pimienta. So that's pepper, you pimienta guys. Pimienta negra. Black pepper. Equivalente como a dos cucharadas. About two tablespoons. Ah, clavos. Now we're going to use the cloves. Hijo. No. ¿Qué? Porque voy a, a quebrarlos. Oh, okay. Porque si no, la licuadora no los muele, mi hijo. What the hell? Ay, pues, ¿Qué estás haciendo? Quebrando los ajos. Digo, los clavos. So, what my mom is. Ahí a está. ver, déjales enseño. So what my mom did is she crushed the cloves because when you put it in the blender, the blender does not, cr um, it doesn't blend or crush the cloves. So she just did it like manually, I guess. ¿Cuánto le vas a poner? Esto como equivalente una media cucharada sopera. So about half a tablespoon. Porque esto es muy fuerte. And you guys, be careful with the cloves because um, they have like a strong taste. Like it has, has kind of like a strong cinnamon -y taste. Okay, you're gonna use about this much salt. Now we're doing the uh, consomme or the chicken bouillon. ¿Cuánto le van a poner de eso? Yo le voy a poner dos cucharadas porque yo tengo la presión muy alta y esto tiene mucho sodio. Pero si oh. fuera para otra gente, ¿cuánto usará? Si fuera para otra gente, unas 3, 4 cucharadas. So, um, como yo tengo la presión alta. My mom's only using about 2 tablespoons of the chicken consomme, um, or a little more, like maybe like 3 tablespoons, um, because she has like high blood pressure and she can't eat a lot of salt. Um, but she said usually like regular people will add about 4 to... Five tablespoons. It kind of depends on how salty you want it or how much taste you want it. And um, you could always, you could always taste the sauce to see if like you want more salt in it. So this is what your uh, tomatoes and your onions should look like. So now we're gonna put them in the blender. You guys, so my mom grilled three tomatoes and then she has a fourth tomato. ¿Y cuándo dijiste que vas a agregar esto? Cuando le eche la carne y el chile. ¿Solo vas a moler también? ¿O no? Se muele en la carne. Se desbarata en la carne. ¿Por qué? No sé. Así me dieron la receta. Ok, so she's gonna, um, she's gonna make her salsa, but this... She's gonna throw it in um, to cook with the meat. Like she's just gonna throw in the whole tomato like this and then supposedly it's supposed to like get mushy and stuff. So I don't know. In this olla, vas a aventar esas de, de lilies. Yeah. ¿En qué olla? Yo voy a usar esta olla. No, oh no. Entonces está la que me lavó Brittany. Aquí. Pues ya vele poniendo agua, lava la carne. Alright, you guys, so now my mom is putting her mixture um, to blend. So she has a whole onion in there with her three tomatoes and her tomatillos. Mijo. ¿Qué? Este, quítamela, pero no te vayas a quemar porque está caliente. Y aquí me vas a poner la olla de la vidrio porque te quemas. Okay, wait. Le vas a, le pusiste todo el agua? Sí. All right, guys. So, a ver. La tapadera bien, gracias. 
This is how much water she is using um, to blend the salsa. So um, let's see how much is in here. So it's one liter. The licuadora says one liter. Como quieran, pero yo la lavo. So my mom said that she's washing the meat. She says you don't have to, it's optional, but she says she likes to do it. Okay. Alright, you guys, so now my mom is gonna throw in the salsa into the meat. And she throws it in right away just so that the meat could get cooked and catch the flavor of the salsa. Also, um, just to remind you guys about the salsa, um, if you're not sure how much... If you're not sure how much chicken, bouillon, or salt to put in, um, then once you take it out the blender, taste it. And then if you feel like it needs more salt, then you add more salt or more chicken bouillon. Um, and then you could throw it in. Um, but that's when you would taste it to see if it has enough salt or not. And now she's throwing in one stick of cinnamon. Splash a little bit. And she also added one cup of water. So you guys, um, my mom actually added one more cup of water to the salsa. Um, just so you guys keep that in mind. <clears throat> and now, uh, ¿cuántos hojas de laurel le vas a poner? Digamos que tres, pero están muy chiquitas, ya le voy a poner otras tres. ¿So seis? Yeah, si están grandes, unas cuatro. Pero si están chiquitas... Okay, so my mom is putting in um, all together about six leaves of laurel, so six hojas de laurel. Right, mom? Estas como están chiquitas, le puse seis. Okay. Pero hay unas que están muy grandotas. Cuando son grandotas, ¿cuántos les pones? Unas tres. So when they're big leaves, she says you only need to put three, but since these are small, she's putting in like um, six. I mean, that looks a little more than six, but just so you guys get the idea. Ma, ¿y las hojas de laurel les da sabor o pa' qué es? I don't know. I mean, si me dieron la receta, pues me imagino que sí. Okay. And we have Gordo cutting up the cilantro. Um, the cilantro, you're going to put it on top of your birria. And we're also going to cut up the onion right now, too. That's also going to go on top of your, like, it, it goes in your bowl or could, in your taco. I, I cut up a whole two stalks right now. Okay, so we're using two. All right, you guys, so uh, my mom said that her birria tastes a little bit sweet, possibly because of the tomatoes or the vinegar. So she has a quick fix. So what she did is she grilled, ¿cuántos chiles son? Yo le puse seis chiles de árbol. So she grilled um, six chiles de árbol. Asados. I know. And then um, she put a little bit of water in and she is going to blend it to add to the birria just to make it a little more spicy. Pero si le van a dar a niños, pues no le pongan tanto chile. Well, we need to start training the niños young. Alright, so hold up. So this is what it should look like. And now she's gonna throw it in the chile, I mean in the birria. Okay, so now my mom is gonna throw in one whole tomato. Yeah, ponlo. Okay. And she said that the um it's gonna cook and then the tomato's gonna get mushy and then it's just gonna dissolve into the birria. I don't know, mom. Mm. Um, well, tenemos either a big tapadera, an oversized one, or something. Ma, entonces ya está? Sí. ¿Por cuánto dejamos coser? Como dos horas. Dos horas, okay. 
So we let the birria cook for two hours and my mom says it's done now. Mm, that looks bomb. This is a poquito. But um está muy buena la plática. So um it's a little it has a little bit of um caldo. But um ¿qué recomiendas para que no se seque tanto? Like a, cuando que lo, lo pongan en medium y la estén chequeando. And if you want like more um like soup in it, let it um just put it on medium and keep checking it and once the meat is done then that's when your beer is done. Pero como yo andaba ya de chismosa, se me pasó. ¿Andabas en el chisme? Pues sí, ¿para qué te digo que no? Sí, sí. ¿Estaba bueno el chisme? Más o menos. Oh, shit. Wait, because we're going to put more water in it because it needs more water. No, I didn't stop eating it. Also, uh, my sister's making rice. It's not done yet. Pumbas and beans. Uh, my mom's taking out. Oh, sorry, Bench. My mom's taking out the grasa from the top. So if you guys don't want like that much um, other grease, you guys could like pick it out and put it like in another plate. Um, also, we made frijoles puercos. I didn't give you guys a recipe on this in this video, but I'll make one for you guys. Uh, Brianna's the one that actually made them. Oh, and she's also steaming the top. I wanted to show you guys, I made macaroni salad um, to eat with our birria. Okay, well, we eat it with macaroni salad on the side. ¿Por qué se están peleando? No, no me están... peleas con Benji. Mamá le estoy diciendo que se mueva y me dice que no le diga así. Si igual que no quieres que le diga. Ma, tienes que respetar a Benji. Él también es parte de la familia. Oye, le estoy diciendo. Este es su casa de Benji. Oh, my no, Benji. No, yo no estoy diciendo que no sea. They be mean to you, my Benji. Anyways, um, so we made um, macaroni salad on the side. If you guys want the macaroni recipe, I already have it up. Check out. You can see the recipe on my channel. And that is my birria video. I hope you guys liked it. Um, I hope you guys um, were able to figure out the recipe. I'm sorry everything was a mess. I know how you guys feel now when you guys say that your mom is like all over the place when she gives you guys recipes. Um, but message me, tell me what you guys think about the recipe, uh, tell me what you guys think in the comments. Um, Ama, ¿quieres decir algo? No más que no se les olvide al servir, que lleva cilantro picado, oh, yeah, cebolla guys. y limón. So, um, this is what we made, we made this plate, so we have like chopped onions, our cilantro and our lemon here. Um, so we recommend that you guys have this done. That way you can throw in your um, your ingredients. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching Mo Money's channel. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching Mo Money's channel.